Oh boy, we are nearly there. 30 seconds. Yeah, a bit early. <laughs> it's a little bit early. But yeah, yeah. We'll talk about that when we when we start properly, I guess. Oh man. It has been uh it's been a been a busy week. But uh well yeah. We're 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 going good. We're probably gonna have a few a few fewer. Just just fewer. I don't think I need a few. I just need we're gonna have fewer. Yeah, there we go. We have few fewer viewers probably this stream. Or at least in the first hour. Um so uh so yeah, I guess we'll uh we'll we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, hi. <laughs> this is Melek and welcome to Oh, the the hour early part nine of my Astroneer live stream. We are um we're we're doing things. It's 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 been a thing. Um but uh, I know there's at least one of you out there. It might be Pagey. Pagey may, may, be, may be there lurking, possibly. Um, it's a very, very cool tree. Look at the harmless flora. It's pretty. Oh yeah, I completely um, filled up all of my organics and carbon, didn't I? And that was last episode, last part. You gotta admit though, the uh, it's it's good. It's good. How are my batteries doing? At some point I want to build more batteries. Um, and just have a big pillar of batteries. You know, like these things. These large storage silos. In fact, actually, the large storage silos, I'm pretty sure that there are, um, there are other sort of storage silo things, aren't there? See, there are platforms. There's canisters. There's, there's the large storage. So that's steel. So that's what we're looking at at the moment. Maybe it wasn't, maybe it wasn't that. Maybe it was, um, something like this. I don't think we're gonna necessarily have it in here. Button repeater, we are, there we go. So we've got the tall storage, which is, um, basically the light, the lamppost. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna unlock it anyway, because why the hell not? Drill strengths of various kinds. I just sort of skipped. I just skipped all the other drills for the vehicles. Went straight to the maximum strength. It seems reasonable to me. See, there's a large storage silo A. So it's eight medium slots. Oh, so basically, um... Oh yeah, so I, I skipped. Here, here they are, actually, yeah. Um, so the large storage silo B, I just skipped straight to that. They're the ones. Whereas the other ones are kind of a bit more aluminium and a little bit of steel. They're sort of shorter. I'm assuming they're just basically exactly the same as these ones. Um, but, uh, but only too high instead. So what I really need to do is just build more of them. Now, here's the question. How much iron do I have? Eight. Um... And, uh, do I have any random steel just floating around? It's a lot of steel, though. It is a lot of steel. Nah, it's fine. We can, we can survive without. So the question is, what do I do this episode? It's gonna be like a normal, I've got work tomorrow type episode, but obviously it's an hour earlier because I've got work early tomorrow. Um, yeah, it could have been worse. It could have been a complete cancellation, which, uh, I, I doubt very much I would have done, but, uh, you know, some sometimes these things may happen. Let's have a little look at the quests. Let's have a little look at the, um, no, that's the research log. Let's have a little look at the, here we go. So we've got the core concept, um, which I can get a reward. Oh, a QTRTG. So basically, I've got <laughs> another two QTRTGs waiting for delivery. Fantastic! I mean, I'm not going to complain about QTRTGs. Um, and a few bytes. So let's just plug them into here. Do -do -do. I mean, they're all good power. I mean, in, in mass, in mass like they are, that's, it's, it's a good... Um, Freya, you're going to have to move, girl. I'm sorry. Can't see what I'm doing. Let me go. Okay, so two missions complete. Yeah, I feel satisfied now. Um, cooler rings. Here we go. That's something we needed to do on Glacio. Glacio. 
Um, echoes of the past. I'm like a printer probe scanner. Yeah, okay. Um, I literally. They're literally little small things, aren't they? Is there anything small that's left to, to research? Probably, but we shall see. So there's a wide mod. There, there are a thousand each, though, a lot of these, so I don't particularly want to just mindlessly... I mean, that drill mod looks good to me, but it's expensive. Fireworks, small camera, hollow terrain analyzer, terrain colors. Okay, so you can kind of do probe scanner. So it's one steel, and it's a small thing. So, um, I guess if I just grab that bit of steel I saw a moment ago, um, and then just scroll through this until it sucks it into the backpack printer, and then we'll know... There we go. Probe scanner. Oh no, Pagey, how dare you not be uh, on time when I'm really, really early. Um, okay, so I need to put it in an auxiliary slot, so I'm guessing like that, basically. Okay, so I can... It's scanning, but it doesn't seem to be doing much. I'm alright, Pagey, I think I was talking to myself a moment ago. Did that do anything? Is it pointing in a particular direction? I actually have no idea whether that found anything. Let's turn around so let's see which if it rests it pointing in a particular direction. I actually haven't got any snacks or drinks. Um, I will have to at some point go and get some snacks and drinks because uh, I haven't even fed Freya yet. And don't get me wrong, she normally doesn't get fed this early anyway, so it's not like she's missing out when she normally um, would be feasting. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it does need to be done at some point. So I will be having a very short break in the middle. Um, and then we'll be going for like three uh, hours and a bit, whatever. Um, okay, so the probe scanner is a thing? I, I, I guess that's a thing. I can get some solid jump jet things as a reward for that. I mean, that's good. Yeah. I assume that's... Pretty good. Just got so many of these solids. I, I probably should have a hydrazine one. Oh, Easter eggs. One time of the year that you can 100. Well, apart from Christmas, but they only like. It, it's just, just eat chocolate. Just just eat all the chocolate. And that, but you know you can have an excuse, but I don't think they're they're particularly uh, needed. Um. What else do we have then? Chasing signals. Find vintage probe and attach probe scanner. Okay. Well, that's a, a thing. Um, looks like I need to blow things up. Find vehicle data recorder on Vasania and blow up a data recorder and then retrieve... Uh... Okay. Activate cores of every planet. Oh my god. I mean, I suppose if I just repackage the rover and take it to each planet, I kind of know what I'm doing now, question mark? <laughs> um, there's something out there. Investigate the unidentified satellite. It's been revealed in the solar system. Oh, hang on a second. Isn't that, um... Hmm. I think I want to go to Glass Seal and um, bring all the Argon to the logistics depot. Because that seemed like a thing that might be fun. Because also, the the uh, this particular 
um, I don't know what you want to call it, but this particular mission chain um, with the whole railway thing is kind of cool. Um, I need to do um, that. They're completed, so that's kind of irrelevant. And DeSolo is a thing that needs doing. Not a Glacio. Now, how easy would it be to take the rover? Probably not too bad. I'd probably need more soil canisters, because that seemed to be a thing that I ran out of. Not a lot, but quite a bit. So if I take that off, and the seat... There's a lot of these that are actually... Because there's no way that will, will fit in the shuttle. I assume... Got the winch. Um... It's a big boy. It's a very big boy. Yeah, that, that's a... That's... Yeah. It's... It's... I can... I can squeeze the rover in. Um... And I could do with I could I could do with one of those tall storage things. I'm gonna grab this one. Because I think these will fit. And then that will allow me to bring a load of things with me. Um now it's just a case of how much can I squeeze in the largest size. Okay, and then we then attach all of the, the things that we need. Um, emergency thruster. To be honest, the emergency thrusters have really... I keep on doing it, but I honestly don't think I'm ever going to need it. So let's, let's put that there. Um... I, I think these will probably be not needed here, but having some storage of that nature kind of useful. I mean, this doesn't look like it's going to fit in the, in the spaceship. Like how these big ceramic wedges are slowly, bit by bit, getting retired. I'm going to put another um, QTRTG in here. So I'm going to a place I've already been to. So I probably don't need to take as much stuff as I would normally take. I know that I can plug those things. I mean, yeah, literally. Why am I plugging them into the medium slots when I've literally got a bunch of small slots there ready and waiting? So you've got the one light flashing on the probe scanner, so it might very well be just I'm very far away from the probe. That's that's my guess. That's my guess. Um, rail post bundles. Because, oh boy, am I going to need them. Uh, a rail junction bundle I'll, I'll also bring with me. Um... We can obviously start building things once we get there, but we don't really... There's no point doing it if we don't need to, you know? Um, I'm gonna have... I'm gonna bring one of the solar panels with me. Um, but I think that might be about it. I mean, I've never had that whole thing. Because, you know, when, when you're younger, your parents are like, oh, no, don't don't eat that before you. You'll ruin your appetite. And it's kind of like, yeah, if you fill up. Like, if you, like, really 
squeeze every little last thing into your stomach, sure. Um, but it never kind of ruined my appetite as far as the flavor goes. Like, having savory after sweet never, never bothered me. Um, I'd, I'd still eat the savory afterwards. So I, I, th I think it's just one of those, uh, one of those lies. One of those filthy, filthy lies. I'm kind of feeling like bringing... My brain is doing a thing. Like, perpetual power is a cool thing, yeah? Um, so if I'm going to, um, Glacio, what is Glacio like? Glacio has very high wind, so actually, the solar panel's kind of pointless. I am going to take with me some wind, windy, windy pops. Eh, as, oh, bleh. hi there, as Trudel, jeez. I'm not even able to speak. It's not a good sign. So I want a windy boy. Um, I don't think I've actually unlocked the windy boys. Uh, the, the 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 larger windy boys. I have actually. Oh, I have got the medium wind turbine. Resource canister platforms. Are they in here? Oh, but wait, that's a large printer. That's... Yes, I'm being stupid. But... Wind turbine. Ceramic and aluminium. We should have loads of that. Ceramic and aluminium. And then we want to print um, probably batteries or something. I just want um, a little bit more Umph. Now we might not necessarily need all of these things specifically on Glacio, but what we what we don't need we'll just keep on the ship and, and bring back with us, you know? Um so there's a generator zinc and lithium. Zinc and lithium. Well, zinc is on the end somewhere. Zinc. Yep. And 24 lithium. Okay. What the hell is going on? There's an awful lot of people who have just been gifted membership who I've never actually seen in the chat. But holy shit, Strudel, you are being incredibly generous. Holy hell, man. How, what, what, what prompted this incredible generosity? Damn. You have to admit, that's weird how how YouTube have done that. Like, that's an odd that's an odd thing for them to do. I guess they must be subscribers. But wow, that's incred incredibly generous. Thank you very much. And, and I guess thanks to all of the people who have just got random subs. Awesome. That is very very cool. Alright, let's get this back into the ship. You got any uh, any thoughts there, Strudel, of anything you want me to do in particular? I mean, I, I literally have to have them all on the list. This is 100% true. Um, I can't get away. I can't just because they're they're gifted. Yeah, they still count. You are 100% true. 
Well, you are 100% true. You are true. No, you are. You are 100% right. Um, you, we will. We will get that done. I tell you what, because we again we we're having an early short stream. I will put them on the list. Oh boy. Um, and uh, and and, and they will be there for the next uh, live stream, I guess. Yeah, you never know. They, I'm, I'm assuming they'll get notified. Um, like obviously Delta Halo and Wild Magic, um, uh, very well known, as it were. Um, I mean, I'll just copy and paste the last one. <laughs> but yes, typing that's going to be difficult. It, 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 I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm assuming it can still get into the sky, to be fair. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming. I, I don't know. Um, um, oh, yeah, one thing I kind of didn't think to, to grab. I'm just going to grab some uh, graphite. Um, because I do need a packager. I know I could obviously make a packager whenever and graphite's all over the place, but it will need a packager because if I ever want to bring my uh, my little rover, well I say little rover, it's not a little rover. If I want to bring my little rover back, um, I'll need a packager. I mean, I that's the thing, sometimes confidence is all you really need. I think it all gets folded in, because you can't prove that it's not folded in right now. Um, so, glass. Oh, unidentified. Oh, you know what? We need to do that this session, don't we? There's Glacio. There's our landing site. It did, look, it folded in. Yay! Thank goodness for that. Yeah, this is, um... Yeah, this place needed some power generation. Um, I know we've got some uh, windy boys on the top of the station, but he definitely needed more... Uh, more power. So, this is... <laughs> that's a lot of stuff. Oh boy. So we're gonna, we're gonna dig to the center of glass, yo. And, um... Oh boy. So we're gonna, um... I guess just stick this on the, on the back of it, I suppose. Um, obviously we're gonna do that. Do that. I'm hearing a meowing animal. Um, okay, I probably should have just brought the ingredients to be able to print a better storage because this is a—it's uh, not ideal, is it? Um, it's not ideal. I throw that one out there again. I'm I'm wasting um, space by doing that. And I should be doing things like this. Hello, meowing animal. And, and by, to what do I owe the pleasure? Freya's on my desk. I'm not calling you guys meowing animal. I mean, to be honest, you, you probably are all fairly meowing. Um, but, um, <laughs> I don't know. So there's a large printer. I could probably do with getting another platform. Which means getting some goodies. One second while I um, get my wind-powered buggy. See, I have no idea where I may have the nearest resin deposit. Was it up there? Well, there's some iron in case I want to bring some iron back. I mean, there's some resin. That's that's definitely some resin. 
Does that stay or is that slide? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some platforms, set up some more power generation, um, just because I believe that if we're going to do more train things, we probably need a bit more power. Um, sorry, girl, you're going to have to move. There you go. She's she's bless her. She's you know she's being quite polite. I've I've actually trained her to be pretty polite. Um, it's not always polite, but I've trained her to be fairly polite. Um, let's, let's make a big platform, shall we? Platform A. Platform B. Yeah, there we go. Yes, this bad boy is going to... Uh, Cause some havoc. But yeah, once this is printed, we'll um, plug some things in and uh, sorted. It did well, magic. I um, I sent a Steam put a notification, a Twitter notification, um, a B Sky notification, a Facebook notification. And a YouTube notification. I feel like I probably covered as much as I possibly could. <laughs> um, it is what it is. It is what it is. Can't possibly reach everybody. Especially the way the algorithms work. The algorithms just deny so many things from people. Um, but yeah, we've got so many new um, members now because uh, Strudel is insane. I'm going to say that there. Air Strudels was gifted a shed ton of memberships, which is um, insanely generous. This is why this is why this is the best community, obviously, obviously. Um, see, there's actually no. Hmm, could have done with some ceramic, I suppose, but uh, not a big deal. Not a big deal. What I can do, actually. Because if I just plug this on here, I can then get a whole bunch of these things and just plug them on here and make this place a bit neater. Come on. And we've apparently got a random drill mod, which is irrelevant because, yeah, we don't need it. Empty terrarium, probably a good idea for me to do something up th at some point with that. Is that mine? No, it's not. I can shove it at the front there. Jeez, that is bright. Some batteries in. Um, some QTRTGs. One of them's mine. Maybe. I don't know. We've got. Um, we've got batteries. We've got wind turbines. We've got everything you could possibly need. And then at some point, we'll. Um, This, this, this will, this will do. Obviously that's inefficient with that platform. We can, uh, you know, build a, a wedge thing. But yeah, the shuttle is looking a little bit, a little bit empty at the moment. Bless it. Bless it. Um, but we're going to put that back into it. Um, take these out. But yes, we, we have the potential to bring a hell of a lot of stuff back with us. A hell of a lot of stuff. Um, got no real actual storage here, though. Oh, boy. I mean, definitely xenomorphs. Xenomorphs are way cooler than zombies. Oh, massively better. 
Um, actually, I might as well. Can we? Can we like ping this planet? Or is it like a one planet only thing? See, is it pointing backwards? I think it's just pointing it backwards because. Oh, I don't know. If I turn sideways and give it another ping. Again, it's a little, little flashing light. Okay. So, I'm now going to jump in the buggy, and I'm going to look around for some frozen argon, which... We, we found... Did we find a lot of it underground, actually? You know what, before I start driving around looking for frozen argon, I am going to go down in the tunnel and have a little look, because I could have sworn there was a... I don't know. Now I've got two oxygen tanks, so with any luck, I'll be able to go down here and, um, well, not suffocate until I am dead. Yeah, the sensor's a bit weird. I'm sure we'll figure it out eventually. Let's, um... It might not have been... Oh jeez, yes, yes, look at that. Oh, but it's because there's a rail thing down there. Okay. So, it's not that they are underground precisely, it's that they're around those little stations, those little whatever the hell is you want to call it, and because they're around those and those can spawn underground, yeah, we, we, we know what we're doing now, we know what's going on. Okay. So, we will, um... That's the wrong one. Compass. Isn't the compass showing me where... In fact, yes, look, it's actually showing me... Stations. But they look like it's it look like it's showing me that they are below me. Got like a long way below me. Well, if they are lots of them underground, you know what that means. It means we need to send the train down the tunnel. Okay. So I brought with me some rail... Uh, I use that thruster way too much. We need to um, grab some of these rail um, bundles. Um, I'm just going to let myself charge up. Thank you. Can I, like, make this... Yeah, there we go. I guess that doesn't really help that much, though, does it? What I should do, instead of doing the tunnel thing first, I should make a junction, or just have... You just have it come off the back. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do, since we don't really know what this probe, or like we don't really ha know how this probe works, we're going to grab a... No. Back here. Little bugger. Okay. So, we're going to... Um... Is that a acceptable turning? You know what isn't acceptable? Is doing this the hard way. Let's get a junction. And then we're sort of like 
Why did I actually bring it with me as a real person? Did I not? Did I? Did I not? I thought I brought some junctions with me. Rail post, rail post, rail post. Apparently I didn't bring any junctions with me. I could have sworn I did that. I'm just being blind. I don't think I'm being blind. I mean, I might be being blind, but I don't think so. Let's double check. No, I think I just, I'm just an idiot and forgot. Eh, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? So I'm just gonna set some... I mean, I can retroactively do some uh, some junctions. Dead easy. It's down there, right? Yeah. Let's see how well the train just goes down this tunnel as um as it is, shall we? I mean, it probably won't crash or explode or anything, but it might just look a bit weird. So they're still all below me. Yep, okay, well, we can keep on keep on doing it, can't we? Look at that, directly below. I hope there's not a, a steepness, a maximum steepness. I mean, I can... Hmm. Figure that a direct route's probably a little bit more sensible for the rail than uh, the previous boring one. I need to keep an eye on my oxygen, but at the moment... It's a bit steep, isn't it? I'm hoping this doesn't mean that the train has issues. I wouldn't have thought so. Let's refill. So what I like about the train lines is that they uh, they transfer power and oxygen. <laughs> How thoroughly useful.
Now let's put that there for now and then just see where we need to actually take things. I mean, there's, uh, there's certainly stuff, isn't there? There it is. Very, very cool. Roller coaster tycoon? No, that one actually passed me by. I was more of a um a, a brain. Don't know why my brain is just failing me right now, but uh but basically the bottom answer is no. <laughs> I didn't. Theme park, yes, theme park. That's what I was more of a more of a theme park person. side do I need to... Oh, well, there we go. So, I assume that I can just call a car. I don't know whether it can get down here. And that sounds promising. Jeez, okay. That's actually kind of cool. <laughs> That's actually kind of cool. Obviously, this is pretty much just for these four pieces, and we need a lot of pieces. Um, but this is super cool. Let's get in there. And let's just, let's ride this bad boy. I'm going to zoom in, and then... Wee. Let's see if he can get us up the slope. Oh, look at that! Small but mighty. So we do need some junction rail -y things because um, I, I don't want to just keep disconnecting things. I almost feel like a load of, you know, previously used but relatively redundant things is a cool idea. I mean, there we go. We need 20 of these cubes. But yes, a roller coaster um, rail system seems like a good idea to me. But we could also do, to be fair, I could use this rover, dig down and just load it up with the frozen argon and cheat that way. But I gotta feel like the railway is kind of cool. Um, I mean, we're we're getting through the rails. I only use like one bundle for that. That was pretty good. That was pretty fun. But um, yeah, I do want some junctiony boys. But what I am gonna do before we do that, anything that we're wanting to take with us, or well, that is sort of my general equipment, I guess. there because we don't really we've kind of got the big boy which is fine and all that but um and then we've only got the small little boy I kind of need a middle ground as far as rover goes on this planet for now it'll have to do you know this is the only thing that can really get to the center of a planet but uh, I do want to go and uh, harvest some iron. So I'm just going to quickly go back. Just so that when I go back, I've got some iron with me. Iron is is useful. And uh, if I'm going to be building loads more things with steel, I'm going to need way more, way more iron than I currently have. I always want to build an auto. I kind of almost want to bring an auto miner with me, but that's... That's another project. <laughs> it's 
not far. And yes, I could build the railway line as well. I mean, that's actually kind of a cool idea as well. Have a little cross, cross the ground railway system on a, on another planet. Okay, let's um. It's like old school mining in the sense that I've got these just storage things. Normally I like bring containers and stuff now. I didn't really think to myself that I was going to be doing a um, doing a big mining room when I was here. Because I had my mission of like, let's do a couple of things. Like get to the planet's core and, and do this. I mean that's such a deep one. Deep, man. So I kind of like had already set that I was doing certain things, you know? Hadn't really thought about it in any other capacity, but yeah, we're 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 all good. We're all good. I'm gonna grab some more iron, and then we're gonna go and uh, dig to the core, I guess. And then we might find some goodies that way. It's a nice little area actually for mining that spot. I think eventually if I, it, it, depending on how much the game needs large numbers of resources, it's not infeasible that um, I end up setting up auto miners on these places. It's a journey to the center of the earth, then, I guess. Need more storage. Yeah, it's just one of those things. It's kind of like, need more storage. Well, I'm sure we'll be fine. So the question is... Yeah, I'm gonna dig through this mountain and down this way, I think. down as much as possible and it's uh, not doing it as much as I want. Oh, is it because I didn't have the big... Oh, you know what? Power. Power is a bit of a thing, isn't it? How much does this take? Did I bring the wrong power? Oh, no, no, I didn't. I can... Well, I mean... I mean, I can, I can, I can do it. But uh, yeah, I, I, haven't, I, I haven't brought the ideal amount of power stuff. Not a big deal, not a big deal. We can, we can manage. There we go, this will do. I don't know why I've brought that many when I can just use my own backpacks. Let's, let's leave one there.
Well, yeah, that's the thing about magic. I figure I might as well try and do as much as I can. Um, See, the canisters are just filling up again. I really like it. But whether or not we... Um, have enough canisters is another matter. In the worst case scenario, we do what we did before. And... Um, Just have to get out and uh, oh, look at that! It's taking up a lot of, of, of rock. There we go. They're filling up again. We're just about doing it. We're just about doing it. Well, no. <laughs> Yay, resources! <laughs> Jeez! stuff that's accumulating. It's funny. Okay, we're down to... There we go. Yeah, okay. We're, 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 we're going good again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stop for a second. Probably a mistake. Gather all of this crap um, and just basically get rid of it because it's. I think it's. It's that's what's. Oh shit! Something just damaged the hell out of me. The hell are they? Is that the thing that hurt me? I don't like that. Okay, let's go on this side. Like it's just so much stuff. Okay, let's um, let's get back in the safety of the uh, rover seat. Oh, you see, they I'm running over things again, and it's it's just knocking me off course a bit. I don't like it. I think I may, unless I had more inventory, I think I'm just going to have to put up with them. To be honest, the tunnel back on Silver is, is, is awful, so, um, oh, this is a big, big drop. like the weird sparkly things. They can fuck right off. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just back up to the last bit that I can get to. 
Um, and then I'm just going to go off to the side a bit. That's, that's not good. Fill up as much as I can with stuff. I'm just gonna die the moment I get out. Yeah, little horn, we're started already an hour early. I swear to God, I I I I send so many messages out. I'm not getting on at people about it, but um, I'm just like constantly surprised that they just don't get through to anyone. It's so it's so it's such a shame. It's a shame. But I want I want some of these. But I unfortunately do not trust my ability to not die horribly. Oh shit, that was a bit close. Did not like that. Okay, let's dig out the tunnel a bit more for a few more resources. Oh jeez, that's abort, abort, abort. That's at a weird angle. Did not like that. Yeah, we're just at a weird angle for some reason. You know what, I don't even need any more because I'm, I'm full up with dirt. Yeah, so I need a lot more dirt canisters just to get through the last um, bit. Can I just nudge this down the slope? Just out the way. Oh, that's not... Oh, shit. Come on, nudge, 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 nudge. What is firing that anyway? Oh, it's, it's that thing. I think we might get, yeah, here we go, where we go. Well, I think we might have hit some iron. This looks pretty hard as far as rock goes. There's some nice, delicious... gonna let some of the stuff just tip off the end now. And so just off to the edge just slightly. Oh, it's a shame that didn't actually have... Oh no, there we go. Oh no. Okay, we are back in good graces with dirt again. Ah, oh, here we go. Okay, I'm just going to dig forward a little bit more. Okay. 
Okay. So, yes, a lot more required as far as... Is that going to stay still if I get out of it? Yes, it is. Good, good, good. Well, there's a weird crate. And, yeah, so, so I'm just going to have a little look. Because those spires... There's a spire. There's one there as well. Is that a spire or is that just a floaty thing? There's one. There's one kind of that way. I'm thinking that if I drive off here through there and then off in that direction, I might be able to find one of the spires, but then there's literally one there. So I do not have to do that. Okay, let's be careful about dangers. I do not have any oxygen, but there's a spire, and I'm going to be climbing down that. So let's get oxygen tanks. Oh shit, that's gonna fall down and away. Yeah, don't point at it! Get it in your backpack! It's like, woohoo! It's like, no! Stop that! Stop that at once! Okay, so yeah, that's not something I can do. Um. Yeah, okay, now I'm just trying to get an empty space. Oh, that's not even really giving me an empty space, is it? It's just... Yeah, that's all I've got. And that then just... Empties that slot. Let's just put dirt in there for a laugh anyway. an amount of oxygen. 873 million. Oh, what the fuck? That's a lot. That's a lot of research. Wow. Okay. Okay. That's... Did not expect that much research from... from things. That's yeah, okay. I'm 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 okay with this, you know. I'm okay with this. An exocache and random research item, but I don't think how easy I'm gonna be able to get hold of that back at home. I mean I I can I can manage it, but um shall we stick to the task at hand? Literally why I came down here originally. And that is this. This bad boy thing. And like before, oh god, oh god, what is going on? Where is it? Okay, is it up there then? I'm gonna have a break soon, guys. Uh, Freya is, um, where is she specifically? Oh, she's on her cat tree looking out the window. It's gotten dark, wow. Um, is it up there somewhere? I'm not sure where the, the bad plant is. Let's go from a different angle. I really don't know where the bad plant is. I mean... Don't know. So... 
It is, is it inside the spire thing? I'm calling it a spire. I, I don't know what it actually is. I think I'm just gonna recharge my oxygen and then kind of ignore them because they seem a bit impotent, so... Let's let my oxygen tanks replenish. Um, I probably just need to get rid of some things like the quartz. Oh, I don't know what it re will re Yeah, because quartz is something it required. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put the quartz there. That there. That there. Gonna get all the quartz on me on the off chance because it is very much a an off chance that it's quartz we need again but i doubt it my gut feeling says it's going to be ever more complex or valuable or whatever stuff um so Should probably do that. Feels wrong to ignore the violent plans. But well, I'm gonna. Okay. So that is then the slide that, that worked before. Um, I believe that it will... Yeah. And then we can head this way. There we go. The system works. I don't know what that is, but it's... um. It's a frustrating thing that's just not going away. Oh, there we go. Okay. I'm going to go onto this ridge and then head down. Oof, boy. Is that like a barrier? Oh, can you not get to the core until you've unlocked some of the surface nodes, maybe? Ooh, God, no, I don't like that. Okay, stop. That looks like a force field. Like, maybe the core can't be accessed until you've unlocked all the surface ones? Which, to be fair, okay, I can, I can understand that. I'm going to give it a go anyway. Yeah, you can't get in, and I bet it's because I've not unlocked any of the surface ones. Um, I believe that this is the correct one. It looks like there's a hole, so I'm going to... Assume it is. Okay, okay. So... you still got to go to the solo wild magic. Because I think that's the, the moon of silver, isn't it? It's like, um... It's not always the first one, I guess. But I, I assume it must be an early one for most people. Interesting. Okay, so I'm going to assume to access the core... You have to do the surface ones. That is my assumption. Oh, there's a resi pound. I'm going to unlock the resi pound um, thing. Where was the resi pound thing? There was a resi pound thing. Where did I put my resi pound? Put it in there.
Bye. Physics, yo. I mean, there's a lot of stuff in here that I could get, but I'm not so sure whether much of it is particularly useful. Um, yeah. Okay, so I know the core. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, the on-screen fray. Well, let me um, reverse my way out of this. Why is it... Oh, God, it's shearing off to one side a lot. Oh, reversing is bad. Oh, I'm not reversing all the way out. This does mean some shenanigans, though. Okay. Okay. So, um... need to get myself into a into a happier position um, so that doesn't even look particularly nice but I know it should be fine uh, oh and Freya's now deciding to hi hello real life Freya yeah it's a bit steep but it means that I can turn around probably yeah, there's a, there's a lot of there's a lot of bump that, that's that's knocking me out. Oh no, I'm I'm wedged. I'm, what is going on with the the steering on this? Is there something wedged? No, I think it's just that there's an awful lot of of weird materials that um that are just in the way. And also a big giant. Oh, that's that's a that's a big research item isn't it yeah i'm definitely taking that back with me okay let's let's get rid of some of these bloody pieces of crap there we go bloody things nobody wants you bumpy stalagmite things um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna leave the quartz here um, grab some of the um, aluminium, not that we really need the aluminium stuff, um, and then I'm going to have a very brief break, just so that I can grab myself a drink, feed Freya, the real Freya, um, I don't know how I would feed the unreal Freya, but you know, I guess she is spinning around in my lap, I think she's pretending that she wants to sit on my lap. But, in reality, she wants the gnomes. Yeah, I'm just skidding around like a... It's like it's just not got equal traction on its on its wheels or something. Once I get on this road, I think it'll be better. Oh, God. I can't see anything, and it's going weird. It's going weird. It's going weird. the gravity as well with the gravity not being very high it's sort of skidding okay right maybe we should put a railway line down here <laughs> I want to know what these things are are they just decoration or are they actually a new material they're decoration Oh, that's a shame. They look cool. That's not to say that looking cool is a bad thing, but... I mean, looking cool is a... Literally a cool thing. Wow. Shame about all the... These weird snowmen and pods and things. I think that's over at the beginning of um, April. 
the event is is over of some sort. I'm not a hundred percent. I don't know that one. Oh, Alexa, shut up! Goodness sakes. Yeah, there's definitely some some stuff down there. I think a lot of it is decorative, but it's it's good. Yeah, I know what you mean by the, the weird shapes. They look like there's some fungus in real life that produce shapes like that. Which is kind of crazy that they make such intricate, cool shapes. I I just I just love that. Isn't nature isn't nature fun? Well if I want to get more aluminium and, and quartz and stuff, this is the place to come, certainly. Compound. There's another research item. There's a few research items actually here. Probably worth me. Uh... Did I set a remote research here? I don't think I did. I think I just brought it all back, didn't I? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, we are back on the surface again after discovering that it's going to take a little bit more effort to get to the uh, core than I previously thought, which is a thing. It's a thing. Um, yeah, let's, let's put that somewhere. Um... gonna get this we're gonna the rail post bundles are definitely gonna stay here um, but the medium the medium battery the probe scanner obviously all of this is gonna um, come back with me but what I am gonna do potentially is set up something a bit better for like a like a generator or something for a buggy parts Probe scanner. Yeah, we leave that there. Let's put the probe scanner there for a laugh. Um, and I guess we're just gonna head back. We can we can take a lot of stuff with us. I think there's a lot of research. We can definitely do a lot of research. We can also drive around looking for more um, rail things. Although they were kind of underground. So actually, I should probably just head toward them underground. On the rail systems. So actually, in that sense, we're probably going to be alright. It's a bit wind windy. It is hecking windy, as, as they say. <clears throat> and the packager can stay up here. We've got dynamite for stuff, and we can blow an awful lot of stuff up. We like blowing stuff up. It's the best. So, yeah, we need a lot more. So, if I unplug that get the QTRTGs. I'm just stripping this down to its um, sort of bare minimum of things that are then useful that I'm taking back with me. The organic? Not really that useful. Not really that useful at all, actually. Not with the amount of organic I have back home. Chuck it all over there. Um, yeah, and then we're going to take that back with us. But I saw, sure, when I go back down and um, loosen a few research items, should be able to store another a good four on me as I am. 
don't need any drillingness anyway anymore. Just need to um, let's go all the way down. Well, not all the way down, but certainly um, a little deeper. I suspect the stuff that's really, really deep is probably the good stuff. Just like wandering around doing the uh, on-the-spot research. Oof, breaking makes you swerve a little bit. It's not good. But, but it's good to know that that does it. Because, um... We can go further, a bit further, look for rare items of exquisiteness. Maybe, maybe there are some things for research in those little weird shapes. Let's get to the next chamber. Keep going. Yeah, this next chamber was the big one. sort of research we can get from the core biome has got to be good. Basically, I'm looking around for research. Don't know how much research I'm going to find just sitting around, but it's around. We, we know we know it's around here somewhere. I said I was going to do a quick break, and then I came back down. Freya, what do you do? No, that's the that's the incorrect button. In fact, there is no correct button. As much as I don't need the tether as much, because I've, I've got a little pair of oxygen tanks, I don't want to lose my way and then find that the oxygen I've got is not enough because, you know, that's it. I live there now. I actually genuinely thought that I saw... I'm tempted to just put tethers down just so I know my way and find my way around. Bring some caches. These caches look kind of, you know. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna um, bring one of the this exo cache. Is this an exo cache? Let's dig it. I can fit that on the back, and uh, let's head back to the surface. That was a much better m mounting. <laughs> I mounted that good. 
Dodging the camera. Ooh, what's going on? The camera is just doing its own thing. Really, just brought the dynamite down and blew up all the cash, blow up the caches myself. But, but I don't know. We'll uh, we'll bring this one up because we can't find much more in the way of research. Oh God, yeah, screaming when I, I I think we did have that at one point briefly when the spire gravity is just kind of like, yes, your rover is mine. Uh, I think we did manage to recover though. Yeah, mostly I'm just gonna grab, load up the research in the shuttle, and then do uh, do some other bits. We need to bring a generator and probably a whole bunch of um, uh, a carbon, and then have Jenny, and then just put that on the back of the rover, drive around a whole bunch, and hey presto. The question is, is are these are these caches actually any good? Who knows? I think they're event caches. So they've probably got tat inside them. But I don't know for certain, honestly. I'm gonna put it there for now. I'm not gonna waste dynamite on one. Um Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stand here a second um, and uh, we're just gonna have a very very brief break um, because that's the kind of that's the kind of thing we do we just have a break and um, and yeah let's let's um let's do a let's do a break thing press on that button it's intermission. So, uh, so yeah, I'm going to get some a uh, little brief bit of music playing, nothing major. Um, and, um, and then I'm just going to feed Freya, and then I'll be right back with my own drink.
and we're back. See? Short one. So, um, what was I doing again? I mean, who knows? Could have been anything. Oh, I've got some more ore that I need to squeeze into the ship. So we might as well bring it back. Um, yeah, I think we were just going to find more frozen argon, I suppose. Um, but I also need to bring some junctions, some rail junctions. Um, did I bring it? No, I've got an oxygenator, but is there an oxygenator in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if I take back with me... I mean, I can literally take this... This is crate back with me, but I kind of feel like the extra cash. Might as well just gather them here and blow them all up together. Um, yeah, I'm gonna uh, head back and bring stuff with me. Unidentified satellite. Exciting. Silver. I couldn't find it then. Hmm. I got a lemon and a ginger tea. Because lemon and ginger is my new. It's not my go to drink, but. Oh boy, it's good. Okay. And why I'm putting all of these ores where I'm putting them. Definitely put the oars here. But look at his big rock. Crikey! I like that deep down rock that we found. Look at that. That is some serious long-term trickle research. And this one's less research, but much faster. Which basically all amounts to um, giving us 300 per minute. Nice. That's a lot of research. I like it. No, that's the wrong way around. Look at how ugly that looks. That can go there because we don't really need it. I'm going to take one of these things. I'm going to take another one of these. Because all of the goodies are but good. Goodies are good. Melek, 20, 23. <laughs> now that will get stuck because of all of the things that will be in it, but it, it'll it'll just stop and it'll st and it'll be fine. I mean, I could literally just you know. Iron. And then, what, aluminium, isn't it, or something? I don't know. Oops. I mean, this takes up a lot of space.
There we go. It's it's a thing. I don't know why I'm doing this when I could just pull all these into my inventory. Well, I say all, you know, some, maybe, a little. Um, zinc, aluminium, so yeah. There we go. So, we're gonna, um, get these research items plugged in, or at least in the queue. Um, we've got that, we've got that. I don't really need that many storage things like this large silo, probably not needed. But, if I end up um, getting a lot of research from there, then I'll probably need it. Be honest, if I just there's a lot of oh I did a rail post bundle. I've I've got a rail post bundle and I that was unclever of me. Just so I don't have to get a whole bunch of um resin when I'm there. Not a whole bunch, but you know what I mean. It does look a bit ridiculous. I, I assume it folds in, because if you rotate it 90 degrees from how we're looking, it would then fit, theoretically, in the shuttle. And I'm sure there's nothing else inside the shuttle that's actually needed. It's all empty space, right? Hmm. Just empty space. So, uh, generator and a bunch of... Carbon, because what I I really need to sort out the things that are in my backpack. Like the oxygen is useful, but I don't want to carry it. that. That probe doesn't seem to be well. I mean, I don't really know exactly how it's going to work. You know what? Since I'm traveling around, let's keep hold of it. Rail post bundle tethers, work light, more rail posts. Um. Let's get the tall ones as, as well as the junction, and all of, just all, just all. Quite simply, all. Because we're going to go a little bit rail crazy on this planet. Well, exactly, Screaming Man. It's a case of, you know, you basically just have it so that it just keeps on trickling it in into a generator. And it just... Yeah, you have one of those little uh, mini furnace -y things. And, um... Where did I actually put my mini furnace? I don't even remember anymore. It's floating around somewhere. I'm sure it's somewhere. Probably. Maybe? I really don't know, actually. Where did I put it? See, if it was just, like, around, I would have assumed I would have put it here, but... I have no idea where I put my little um, thingy. Oh, ah, ah, it's giving me plants. It's putting plants in me. I don't want that. I don't want that. I want plants in me. Um... Scrap station. Oh, yeah, it might well have been actually. My scrap station, but it might, yeah, my scrap of, my scrap of vehicle. Yeah, let's, let's grab a portable smelting furnace for a laugh. Um, and I'm just gonna build one of those generators for reasons. Tungsten and aluminium. And this will then help with activating stuff. I've then got the furnace to be able to convert organics into 
stuff. Stuff! There you go. I just literally grabbed some organic and it's gonna immediately convert it. It's so awesome. It's so awesome. I love it. Well, somehow it's not, um... It was producing two, but that only produces one, so I'm not sure where the extra power was coming from. Because it wasn't draining my back. Oh, I suppose because I'm connected. No, because I'm not even connected up to the power at the moment. I have no idea. But either way, it's a thing. Well, that is now got a load more iron in it. 24. Exciting. They are aluminium. Yeah, there we go. So, that will then do that. Um, I think that's probably all I need, because I've got the junctions. I've got some carbon, which is... I probably could do with a little bit more carbon, just to keep things going, though. I've got the furnace, so I can just make it myself. Um, really useful, that is. Um, I'm just going to keep it on me. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's got plenty left. That's a thing. You know what? The auto arm. I don't think the auto arm was particularly difficult to make as far as rarity goes. It's because it's quite early, early stage, isn't it? Uh, graphite and aluminium. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I could definitely d just easily make an auto arm and make it like a constant power generator, but at the moment I think this whole place is fairly good power. Obviously when I get the auto extractors back up and running, then I'll probably need something like that to power, to pump into the rail system to power the auto extractors. Hmm. Oh, it's good. That's actually almost already done. I'm just going to do the other one as well. Look at that, guys. We are... We are doing well. We're doing good. Um, so as far as things go, I think we're 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 okay here. Do we have spare socket for hydrazine? Nope, that's fine. Let's let's go back. I I think I've got enough to go back, but there's 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 always stuff you could take with you. Like I get that. There's always more. In fact, I'm taking platforms. I should probably. Just take a couple more medium storage anyway. Just for a laugh. There's, there's stuff. Like, I could take the auto arm to a tapper and all that. But honestly, I'm okay. I'm okay. Elvis thingy. Calador. I don't think I've been to Calador yet. Yeah, I don't think I've been to Calador. But what I want to do on Glacio is I want to make a real dent in the in the things that I need to do here. That's the one, because that one's just a different landing site. This one is my landing site. There are others like it, but this one is mine. This is not for the vehicle, it's for this.
There we go. Love it. Deal. Oh, then that's not what I want to do either. Okay. See, this is then just kitted out now for going around activating the uh, the thingies. Um, and with the uh, paver and the drill, it shouldn't uh, have any problems. Except with, you know, its complete lack of any dirt um, storage. That, that, that would be a problem. Let's get the dirt plugged in. I'm not gonna do this right now. I'm on I'm gonna be on frozen argon territory or duty. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just talking I'm just I'm just making noises and just just thing in. And then I'm gonna put that there on the off chance that it actually does do something. And that's kind of what I'm up to now, I guess. It's kind of, kind of thingy. That's when I brought the, did I just not bring the platforms that I not print? I think I printed them and then just didn't bring them maybe. Or maybe I just thought about printing it and then just didn't. Maybe, maybe that's what these resins are for. This is what the resins are for. Yeah, I think that's what the resins for. Just love the fact that that's still wind powered. Like it makes perfect sense. This is a really windy, windy planet. Um, it's just amusing. <laughs> go get so we've got um, uh, junctions and rail posts we've got rail posts there let's get all the rail let's just get everything so you'll be happy to know that Freya did get fed and um, she has obviously finished feeding now because she is um, well she's on the desk now doing cat things Mostly just seeing what I'm up to. Hello, you. Just to see what I'm doing. What am I up to? Is what she's wondering. Let's see, if I don't touch the camera at all, how does it affect when it goes under? I mean... Yeah? Whee! Okay, so... I'm just gonna um, stop it there. Okay. Obviously, it's that's there. But we need to head off in other directions. There's one up and there's one down. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a rail junction. Um, kind of around here somewhere. Actually, I'm just going to back this up now. Oh, I can't get rid of that without... Okay, you know what? I'm just going to... 
back that all the way back here. doesn't it won't even um ooh. yes because that's not the one i was going to get rid of is it was this one okay the hell off to the side there we go rail junction If I move this up slightly, it will make that slightly better. It's not actually too far off what I want. Obviously, I can't move that because of the way it is. of splooshy noises. Oh god, the angle is so awkward. not the most efficient way of doing the rails. Okay. So that way. Plenty of little research items. screaming one okay well if I load a battery onto it then um, that, you know, a couple of batteries they can output quite a bit per second and then it can charge up between uses I, I, I can I can we can we can make it work we can make it work Well, 
they're above, which is potentially annoying because um, it means that we might be not wasting our time precisely, but kind of. Yeah, I got the impression that the Glacier was not quite, um, not quite the most people's first step into the world. <laughs> um, yeah, but it, it seemed, it worked for me, you know? It, it seemed, seemed to make sense for me. Yes. Yeah. Maybe it isn't a good idea to do it this way. Let's... Maybe it's. Oh, hang on, hang on. No, no, that's just that. Reason. That's not. why we bring the junction rails. This is why we bring the junction rails. Yes. Um, I think I'm just going to send this on its way, actually. Who? No. Oh, come on. Go. Uh, I suppose it is going to just going to... That's good enough. That's good enough. We're going to have so many rails by the time we're done. There it is. Well, there's a few here, isn't there? I kind of want to connect it up to the um, the thing. Do you know what I mean? Because it's kind of that's the whole point of this site pylon. Um, but it doesn't actually serve any purpose other than being just a dead end. So going past it and then and then see what happens. I guess. Oh, and there's another pylon further on. This is good. I 
wonder if I can just send it. I mean, actually sending it's not particularly easy because it just kind of shuts off. So I'd have to use some a button, some some like coding things, signaling. Yeah, because I don't think I can just send it. Like I'd have to wire things up to it. Do you know what I mean? Well, we can we can we can ride it. Oh, we've got another one over there. We can we can we can sort it out. It's all good. We still got like a uh, an over an hour left of the stream. That's good. So we've got three more loads and then we are done with this mission. But are you saying most people as in like most people who know the game and everything? Because Glacio had a resource that I wanted, I think iron. And there was something else that I just kind of like, yeah, let's go to Glacio. Um... And it just, you know, worked. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It was, uh... To be honest, difficulty in this game is a bit of a strange concept because it's not... It's not a difficult game. It's just a you you work at it and you do the things. Um, so it's not like um, it's not like there's like loads of tricky combat and you know what I mean. It's not a, a, a complex game in that sense. Well, there's apparently oh yeah, it's literally on the train. Cool. Oh. Oh, because it's... I'm an idiot, of course. No wonder I'd walked quite far and it's still connected. I don't want to connect you up like that. This might interfere with... Yeah, it looks like it's going to be all right. Well, I got lucky by blind fluke then. Just push through this one. This stop didn't have much at all. But there's one apparently over here somewhere. There it is. There it is. I assume the power is going to be a bit easier for that planet now. Seems to me that, um, oh look at that, we can actually use the station even though I don't want to. I really, really would rather not actually. Just because it's just a dead end at that point. Okay, this is a, a few tasty morsels. Oh, that's not the way I want to do that. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. Okay. Yes, it does cut through the terrain. I was wondering whether it did, because I, I saw it, it definitely removed some terrain and damaged some items, but yes, the fact that it does actually do- oh, look at this. This is actually surprisingly fun, just watching it do this. I don't have to hold any buttons, I can just sit back and, and drink my tea. The camera swings around in an, an acceptable way. Um, well, hello again for her. She, she, I think she popped off to nip to the loo or something. So, she's now, now back again, aren't you, girl? Okay. But the fact that we've got this subterranean railway is actually just fun. The fact that it digs out the tunnels enough space for to, for the train is great. Um, I'm super tempted to do this back on silver, um, and just have a subterranean railway. Makes sense, Wild Magic. Makes sense. Okay, we are back here. <laughs> Ooh, that's a sneaky one. There's quite a few here, isn't there? Where you up to, girl? Yeah. You're chilling. Digesting your foods. Yeah. Hard life being a cat, isn't it? Yeah, such hard life. Probably wild magic, probably. At some point. But it's a different it's a different thing, bear in mind. That's a different tunnel. The, the core. Is the one that's just there, but on screen now. So uh, I think um, I probably did, but I don't think it's anything I've done in the last. <laughs> well, how long it is? Wee. Yeah, there's, there's a, the other tunnel is the one to the core. It's part of the reason why I dug a brand new tunnel, just so it was, that was all it was for, and yeah, there was no, uh, no kind of, like, mixed reason to, like, I, I know what I'm trying to say. I, I, I don't know how to say it, but, like, if you dig one tunnel for all purposes, it's kind of going to fail at all of them. Um, so I figured that, Oh, okay, so there's another one kind of below ground, but it's only going to give us one more. Probably in like a, a fallen tunnel somewhere, maybe. Well, we get, one isn't enough, so we're still going to have to go and find another one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep on going with the uh, the rails. Now, I mean, this might be a convenient little... Because if we're saying that the next one is down, we can go down this tunnel, lay the rail tracks, and it will just kind of dig the tunnels for us. <clears throat> just strange noises. Okay, so if I do this. Will it kind of 
dig, dig the tunnels. Freya, what are you doing? You're just sort of wiggling weirdly. You do just let fewer strange wiggles. It's actually really bloody easy to set up these railway lines. It's great. They've, they've done well actually making that a pleasure. Making it a pleasure is, is yeah. Like, it's not realistic, don't get me wrong. Why, why, would, why would so much stuff fit in my backpack? Um... And why would it auto dig tunnels? And why would the train not clip into the rocks? And yeah, there's a lot of realist realism lost, but it makes it worth doing. It makes it fun. Um, and and if it's fun and practical, oh boy, that's where it's at. Nice. Very nice. So, this is this mission complete. I didn't even look what the reward was. Hopefully there's another mission after it. Okay, cooler runnings. We're gonna have a little look at our... Why am I doing research? That, that does... Because that actually is the, the mission log. There we go. So, cooler runnings. Transport frozen, blah, blah, blah. An exochip. I mean, yeah, we, we, can, we can claim the exochip whenever. But do we have... We don't have anything else mission-wise as far as that. Oh, hang on. We do. Rub a stamp. Oh, is that the thing that spawns another thing? Yeah. So it's like the next chain in the... Freya, you are so fidgety. Um... Use... Yep, yeah, use data log. So I'm just going to use the data log and... Um, Okay. Conductor, did you receive this morning's message? We should leave for uh, Calador immediately. Please advise, Dr. Stone. You can see my name as a recipient. I'm in the process of safely packaging my equipment. I believe I'm ready. Once again, you can call me Bell. Okay. So, basically... What we're going to have now is... I mean, is, is that... Oh, that's the... Um... Use data log on logistics depot. Oh, but it's... Uh, it's complete. Yeah, me too. So basically, that's a special item that I suspect that I can spawn on a different planet and then it will start a whole new quest chain. Oh, exciting! That is exciting. I'm actually going to claim both those things now and just shove them in my backpack. I mean, or in the shuttle. Okay. But I did want to activate the core at some point here as well. So I could just stay here and carry on doing things. Well, what I'm going to do, I am going to claim these things, because why the hell not? Cool. 
Let's go plug them in just there. Curious guy. So there's a, there's a thing that will uh, activate on Calador. I don't think we've been to Calador yet. Oh, I can't see shit. There we go. So I don't think we've been to Calador yet. So that's actually quite cool. Probably be a year, like next week or something like that that I do that. But but it will um it will be fun. Platform we can pop open. Oh, that didn't quite work as I wanted it to. Yeah, I always check out the stats on the planets before I head there. It's always a, a good idea. So this is my generatory kind of heading off into the wild type thing. Um, I think that that is a lot of stuff. Kind of like the big battery. I think we'll have a battery. We don't really need the paver, do we? Just sort of dig, dig through the terrain. So the paver I'm just going to put to one side for now. Let's put some of these where they need to go. Get the battery. Just plug the battery on the front. So that produces five. That produces nine. These produce one each. I've got another one in my backpack. The actual um, internal battery will produce something, and then I can fudge stuff by making generators and using organics to do it. So I think I've got enough power output here to be able to fudge it. And if I'm not paving, then I don't really need um, all of that. Okay. I'm going to put the rail stuff away for now. So I've got a bit of inventory space to play with. Don't need all the dirt. I'm going to have the oxygen just because I like having it. It is just nice having little oxygen tanks. There's nothing wrong with having a few oxygen tanks. Okay. You know what? There's nothing wrong with us just grabbing this QTRTG. And just all of this. We don't need to leave the base with power. So actually, we're going to have a significant amount of power output. This is like a lot of power in total. That's a lot of power. Potential. <laughs> it's good. So we now have a compass. We need to head off that way. We've got a diggy boy. We'll dig through mountains and I can build slopes. Ah, hmm. I am, you know how I always change my mind about stuff. I'm going to do it again. I'm, I'm always doing it, guys. You know me. I do actually want a paver. I think the paver is going to be really useful. The QTRTGs will work as extender cables. They'll 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 be fine. That's the incorrect thing to plug out. I'll plug the battery on the back for now. Um, it won't be able to stay there when we um, start doing the thing. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I mean, you know how it goes. I decided that I just do want to be able to um, pave. It's just going to make everything massively easier. So, 
Yeah, you know me. I'm gonna change my mind a billion times and then still not make the correct decision. There's not really enough storage for things, so there's no point in taking dynamite. Um, here we go. Jeez, this is not an, an agile thing. Let's just dig through here, shall we? very much going to just be me digging through the terrain to get where I need to go. Or just building random bridges. And then sometimes deciding that I don't need a bridge when I absolutely do. Does I can't really see the height I'm um, doing things? There we go, it's kind of a bit better. Yeah, I'm glad I brought the paver, it's just making things massively easy. Jeez, I'm just gonna make roads everywhere. I don't even... I might not even ever turn it off. Like... As long as I dig down every now and again, because obviously it's used up quite a bit, it's just like, yeah. does require a lot of juice. Even with the Jenny on, the battery is depleting the whole lot. I don't think it's actually going to do it. Wow. Yes, it does require a lot of juice. So that was um, five, nine, she's 18, 22 and then the vehicle yeah I thought 20 we can handle 20 we can 100% handle but I did not realize that it was gonna be that much like that's it might require something in the region of 25 maybe a little look what's the percentage those bars are almost full so we can pull this off absolutely can pull this off dead easy. Well, not dead easy, but you know what I mean. Yeah, we, we, we can do this. We can do this. All I need is to create a couple of small generators out of compound and then we... I don't think we're going to need much. I think it needs 25 is my guess how much power it requires. Um... Oh, we are in luck today, boys and girls. Oh, I'm... Of 
course, I don't have a QTRTG now, so I don't have any power. Lol. And what does this produce? Two. So what did I say? It was four from the QTRTGs. Four, um, nine, 18, 21. No? 20. Yeah, my brain just has 20. Whatever the actual um, vehicle outputs, which might only be about one. But if that's the case, two generators should be about it. Just enough compound. And then we need to grab some organic. <clears throat> I bet small generators can't be given carbon. Yeah, it's got to be organics. That's fine, that's fine. I can live with this. Dead easy. So what I'll do is I'll put the carbon over there. Now we've got random ammonia that just got dug up as we we're going through the thing. So we have turned that off. Turn that off. Okay, and then I just need to scoop up some organics. I should really... Gee, even if there's no power, I can still actually do things. It's just not much. is enough organic, but I'm gonna keep on getting it, because we're gonna need more. Okay. When that solid fuel runs out, I'm gonna be disappointed. <laughs> There we go. What what died? What died? What died? Something stopped producing power. I think it was the vehicle itself. It was. The vehicle outputs one. I'm gonna do I mean I could get another Jenny, but I'm not gonna. I don't think it can... Uh, the internal battery can't last. Lol. It cannot last long enough. <laughs> Sorry, I will need another Jenny. So, but we've confirmed now, through through the power of maths, that uh, it requires exactly 25 power. I'm just going to get one more um, organic generator, and um, it'll be good. Where I'm gonna put it? I'm gonna put it. I know I'm not gonna just put it on the back, but I don't know. I just I don't like the. I'm gonna do that. Okay. We're all good. We're all good. And Jenny. Okay. 
We're gonna do it this time. On, 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 on. And... Uh. Oh, the little batteries can't handle it. <laughs> this is funny, actually. This is funny. No, we're, we're, we're cool. We can figure this out. I think just another generator. I think another big generator is probably the best bet. Get, um... Yeah, just another Jenny. Because the, um, the big battery is fine. The big battery can hack it. But, um... But yeah, if we get we, the two Jennies and the big battery and those QTRTGs, they they can output enough power continuously and it will be absolutely fine. So yeah, we need another... Um, we need another uh, medium generator. Easily done. So I just grab some random hematite while I'm here. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, there's, there's always upgrades that are needed for all of these things, but uh, just haven't got around to it yet. button to move this thing up without moving the camera angle up. There's got to be a, a, a button. It's really, really bad. Because I mean, how am I supposed to do anything if I want to go up? How do I? How do I go up if I can't see what I'm doing? Oh, because look, I can't see what I'm bloody doing. Still wasn't right. Now, Jenny, that sort of Jenny does require a little bit more. Um, Yes, because I do not have... Yeah, there's no way of getting tungsten on this planet. So, I'm going to double check that I haven't got a random medium generator around here. Nope. I'm going to grab, actually, these two organics. So basically, what we can do... Yeah, we're just going to set two jennies, the medium battery, the QTRTGs, the small batteries just don't have the juice to be able to do it. They, they can't survive long enough. Which is fine. That's, they're, they're not really built for that kind of task, so we can forgive them their inabilities. We do not need these once we get a medium generator. So I'm going to just shove them here for a laugh. Yay, we got a one tiny piece of iron. Oh no, we got more pieces of iron. What I'm gonna do is um eh. Oh, 
don't know why, I'm just gonna put the hematite on there and just process it. I don't know why. It's kind of a waste of the time, but it's kind of kind of fun to watch that just churn away. Um shame I can't get the organics out of that, but we will we will live. I just need to get another medium generator. I'll take the um I don't even know why I'm taking that out, to be honest. Just leave it in there and job done. So yes, I'm going to head back. Seems like a bit of a waste to head back for this one thing, but there's not really much else I can do about it, honestly. Oh, what is going on? Another planet, please. Yeah, there, there is one, um, and I may or may not, um, may or may not do that. We've got a few spare for sure. Tungsten and aluminium. Oh, I've got loads of them, Wild Magic. There's, um, <clears throat> endless ones. Okay, print this bad boy. And giant thing that's not useful on this planet. I like the way they do that, though. It's like it's again, it's it's not realistic, but the fact that you know you go to these other planets to find these other things that that have been you know, these other stations and facilities and whatnot that have been left behind by the previous people, so you end up going there. But of course, instead of having to find it. You just you spawn it. It's it's a game mechanism, and I'm I'm okay with that. May may seem a little strange, but it's 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 kind of cool, you know. Oh, Delta Halo. Well, you've got maybe half an hour. Probably not even that. Um. <laughs> Alright, what have we got? We I'm gonna create, create more hydrazine because it's a good idea to do it. Hydrogen and an ammonium. We get some ammonium. Damn it, do your thing. And hydrogen. Ah, yes, because we haven't got any hydrogen in storage, apparently. Methane, argon, hydrogen. I always like to keep the ship as topped up as I possibly can. So we have a medium generator. Yeah, that's actually a fairly good point, Wild Magic. Yes, that is a good idea. I'm not sure exactly where they are. I mean, jeez, look at the amount we're getting. Um... Fluid and soil container, yeah, here we go. Plastic and glass. Mm. 
No, that is a fantastic suggestion. Kind of my little railway, as useless as it is, is still just doing its automated thing. Are these little little boys are there? Oh, I can't tell how much they were originally. Those things, but looking at that, pretty good. Two and a half minutes left. A tiny fraction of the total amount of time. Five hundred bytes. Yeah, I'm cool with this. I can keep it in my inventory, but you know what? I like it. Oh, look at that. Easy. As you say, screaming when it does give us a bit more, a bit more space, a bit more capacity. I mean, yeah, that's actually that's okay. We can then stick a Jenny on the side or the battery on the side. It's just going to do all of the things. It's great. We have a um, medium soil container. Whoop, rope. No, that's the wrong one. We like transfer soil. Yes, we can. Not that it's particularly useful to do that right now, but that's kind of cool. Oh yeah! Why is it like that? Yeah, they're both like that. What is going on there? You are absolutely right. I don't know. I've not changed any settings, so I've no idea why that is the case. Hmm. So that's the chat. No, thank you for pointing that out, because I did not notice at all. Come on, edit, transform. Why can't I edit the transform? Do I need to... Oh, it's because I'm trying to edit the... Uh... No, I'm not. I'm... What? Even locking it shouldn't... Yeah, it is. See, peeps, this is why you need to help me out, because otherwise, um, I have no idea what I'm doing. I guess that's about right. 
1790. Track the other side. No, the other side still needs it. Do to do to do. Well, thanks for letting me know eventually. <laughs> Lol. Um, so we have big old soil canister. We have little incinerator boy. Um, we're gonna put a couple more of that in there. We're gonna get that. We're gonna um, put all this iron in the shuttle, I think. Well, we don't need all of those oil canisters now. Put filthy things there. Oh, look at that inefficiency. Does it? Oh, okay, well, good, good to know. What I'll do is I'll rotate it so that it's kind of in the middle so that when I'm in the vehicle rover seat I can kind of maybe see it or maybe not. We'll figure it out. So are we are we gonna end an episode on a good note of actually succeeding? I just dug through this mountain. It's like, eh. Silly mountain. Getting in my way. Does it not know who I am? Right. Take two? I mean, not dying. I haven't died yet this episode. Kind of nearly did. But, but not yet. Not yet. Okay, let's, um... Log it in. Okay, so now it all depends on the big battery and the Jenny's lasting. Jennies have plenty of carbon. The big battery has a huge capacity. I mean the battery is holding its holding its own. Huzzah! So I'm assuming that you have to activate everything. Well, I don't know. But that was a success. That way, huh? That way it is. Well, to be honest, now that we've got it and we have this um, reasonably obnoxious vehicle for just... Like, there's n nothing I can't really handle. Well, uh, say that. 
Um, too bad a job to actually um, make smooth kind of things. You, you know what I mean. Ramps and the like. Yeah, the heart is is awkward. The heart is a bit awkward. See, this rover isn't too bad. It's not quite as agile as the other ones, but it's not too bad. I got he's just automatically doing things. It's great. I've left those generators on. Very naughty of me. It's uh, wasted a lot of power. Yeah, I could dig myself out of, I think, pretty much anything at this point. It's the most powerful drill there is. So, um... <laughs> this is great. That way, okay. We can we can we can do that way. very much is a pain in the bloody arse.
Oh, jeez. Look how much metal we've got. How much, uh, you know, iron, whatever, things, stuff. My god. Um, um, I mean, is it, I mean, yeah, we should, we should have brought the really tall thing. Yeah, just digging through that, god. Like, you could put a giant canister on the back and just, ugh, I mean, using, using these large rovers as mining machines, oh, it's hearts, yeah. I'm gonna have to leave it here because it's just I can't I can't carry it all. You know? I just, I just cannot carry it all. I'm gonna carry the, the finished product. Um But other than that, I think I'm just gonna have to stick to um Heading toward the thing and um, not just going crazy mining. I cannot see if this is working. Well, I don't need to make slopes down, I just do it. Hmm. I guess I could have gone around. I just don't see the point in going around when I can just go through. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. Definitely needs to be an up down control, it's not just the mouse. Ah, oh, good old Queen Freya. I don't know how she could became a queen, but, but apparently uh, apparently she is. <laughs> this is cute. You're so cute! Kind of through there. Is that literally the um <laughs> did not know that uh, that was the term. Oh, why am I going up when when it's literally just there? It's like all buried, isn't it? We are. Uh, I need to get a bit closer than that. I think we are doing incredibly well. We're we're making excellent progress. But damn it, it's now processing all the materials. Well, Tom, I am, I knew, but um. Is that not doing it anymore? Oh, 
What? Is that like one off? Oh, it's because this is going. Come on, get that thing done. We are gonna have to call it, I think. Um, it is getting, it is getting on. Isn't quite the way uh, we we came in. Um, okay, we are we're gonna we're gonna unlock this planet. Bakewell tarts. They're just they're they're classics and and they're delicious. And why the hell wouldn't you just scoff as many as you possibly can? That is that is full. That's twenty four. The equivalent to twenty four small ones. I'm guessing. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm just having a little look around at the thing. Boy. Oh, look at that, all the symbols. Kiss Miracle, Xenomorph, Talia, Smag. Oh, they're, they're all pretty damn hot. Um. Oh, oh, that's a, that's a, that's a hell of a one. That is a hell of a one. Um. Hmm. That is a hell of a one. I have to think about this. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not gonna have that much music for long, you know, because I have obviously got to get to sleep for the things. But um, yeah. I mean, Smaug is the richest, so marrying Smaug would obviously be, you know, kind of sensible in a in a weird kind of a way. You know, quick shag might be uh, might be nice. And now, previous rule was the. Um, you know, you are, you become an appropriate, you become an appropriate shape. So, I guess if you marry Smaug, you're going to become a big fucking dragon. That's kind of cool. So maybe marry Smaug. And then, oh my god. I guess kill the Xenomorph and kiss Tally, I suppose. Yeah, sorry Xenos. Maritali, kiss Smaug, kill the Xeno. I suppose, yeah, because then you get, by marrying Tally, you go into the Mass Felt universe. Whereas my, I get dragged into the Lord of the Rings universe, I suppose. Yeah, sorry Xeno. Yeah, exactly. It's like, it's not because you're, you're bad, little Xeno. It's just, you just weren't, you didn't quite have the benefits of everybody else. Sad times. Sad times. Oh boy. We have a lot of people who signed up. Jeez, I'm gonna have to sort that out another time. What I'm gonna do is, um, well, I mean, we had a lot of, a lot of gift subs. Um, it's a shame it doesn't, did what it, it didn't do what it did before, of giving it to people who are in the chat, because, yeah, it was a bit weird. Yeah, probably, they probably don't, to be fair. 
But then they're all Xenos, so maybe you get the Queen, I don't know. At which point you've got an entire... ...perfect organism hive that you are the... ...the, the consort of, I suppose, so you're kind of... ...second in command-ish, I guess? I don't know. I think tomorrow... Wow, this is loud, man. I mean, it's loud to me. It must be loud to you guys. So tomorrow... I'm going to sort out um, all the names. Because I have to get to sleep tonight. Live stream... Member update, I suppose. There we go. There we go. We have uh, a reminder for me to do all that, because otherwise I, I, I won't remember. <laughs> Terrible like that. Yeah, I mean... I should really do a poll at some point during this stream, just to see what the, the desire is. Um, I can't easily put Freya on this, this screen. Now that this, this particular screen is kind of the intermission screen, the break screen, I suppose. Yeah, it doesn't have a Freya capable option. And even if it did, because it's a different scene, the buttons on my stream deck wouldn't be able to reveal her either. So anyway, I'm gonna, um, oh, I'm gonna bid you all fell well. Um, yeah, I'm gonna fade that out, and I'm gonna, gonna well, I mean, that wasn't the fade out, that was just me pressing stop. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, oh, so I want to wish you all the best, um, and yes, yeah, Sunday stream is, is still an ongoing possibility, um, it will be a different game, so I'd be doing Astroneer Wednesdays and then something different on Sundays, don't know what sort of game it would be, um, but yeah, it'll be something a bit different just to keep you guys entertained because that's what I like doing. Might be helpful. Maybe some people will be able to catch that and, and when they can't catch this one. But we'll we'll see how it goes. Um, thank you to all of my adepts. Wilta, Necromancer, Nogomi Summers, Mr. Trillian, S. Strudel, and Luca. Thank you especially to S. Strudel who, who gifted 10 memberships today, which is incredibly generous. Um, we got... Um, we got a we got we got a mixture of, of people that got it. So now we have um Delta Halo, uh Elu Weddin, Wild Magic, Charlie Powell, Na uh, Noel, uh Shaddock, Skyhawk, Devon Menefi, Frank Smith. I'm not even trying to pronounce that. Um We'll we'll see. Um I was kind of, should have really just given people who were in the chat or then just waited for people to log into chat because I like seeing people in chat who are, who are getting memberships because that's always cool. But it's YouTube be weird, you know, YouTube be weird. But until next time, guys, bid you all farewell. Um, thank you for tuning in and maybe see you this Sunday. Maybe it'll be next Wednesday. We'll see how it is. But until that time, cheerio.